Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. So in our today's video, we'll be discussing uh, about some of the tips related to the shell scripting. So while working with this uh, DBA field and while running this uh, YouTube channel, I have seen there are multiple people are there. They want to start their career in the Oracle DBA field. So my always intention to tell you here that if you want to become a good Oracle DBA, now when I'm saying a good Oracle DBA, it does not mean that you should know only the Oracle DBA. A good Oracle DBA is the one who is having the knowledge about multiple technologies. Let's say you are becoming a Oracle DBA, so you should know Unix technology, you should know network technology, you should know storage, then Citrix. So there are the different different technologies which are coming and which are running surrounded by this Oracle DBA. Apart from this, you should also know about the shell scripting. Why? Because there are many things that you can automate with the help of shell scripting. Now, if you want to become Oracle DBA, just try to put your hands dirty on the shell scripting part also. There are some, uh, there are many DBAs I have seen that they are very good with the Oracle DBA activities. But when it comes to the automation, then they are lagging behind but nowadays when you go for an interview the first questions which will come like whether you have any experience with the shell scripting do you know how to read the shell script do you know how to automate the task nowadays you know the companies or the organizations are looking for the person who should have the knowledge about the oracle dba that is the first priority but apart from this, we also need someone who is having the knowledge about shell script who can automate the work. Because if I'm asking you to take the backup on Sunday, early morning, three o'clock, you're not going to log into your system and taking the backup. It's not possible, even though it is possible, but maybe you will do it for one day, two day, three day. But are you going to do it for every Sunday night, three o'clock? <laughs> It's kind, it's kind of, you know, double work for you, right? So if I know the shell script, what I will do, I will write down the code in a such way that which will connect to the arm and utility. It will take the backup. And once the backup is completed, it will give me the email saying that backup is completed. So when I wake up, I will just check the backup status. And if the backup is successful, I don't need to worry about that. And there is very less chances that backup will get failure. So that is why, you know, I'm telling you about the shell scripting. So if you are, if you are a precious, then you have enough time to learn the shell script. If you are experienced person, that's fine. Still, you can learn the shell scripting. So there are many tutorials are there. You can see on Udemy courses are there, which will really helpful for you to understand the shell script. Now, how to start with the shell scripting? Let's try to understand. See, I'm not asking you to write down the shell script in a big, big script on the first day itself. You need to always start with the basic. Those who are from the IT background or computer background in the graduation time itself, we had some sort of programming language like C, C++, Java. Those people very easily understand the shell scripting part because the concept like variable, function, the oops concept we know it very well but those who are from the non-it background it is kind of quite difficult but i'm not saying that it's impossible it's possible what you need to do just take a small small example from the internet if you just google like shell script tutorial you'll find out a small small example over there just install your any operating system like uh, unix uh, ubuntu whatever you want to do and try those small small example and as much as you are doing the practice of the small small example later on you can you know increase the length of your code later on you can increase the complexity and this is what this is how i also learn guys it's not something that i know it from the starting itself so i'm just telling you my experience that how can you you know start learning the shell scripting part just take a small small example and then think, okay, we can do like this also. Whenever you join another company, just open the cron tab there because every company will have a cron tab and in that cron tab, they will have an automated script will be there. Try to open it. 
and see what exactly it is there read the things if you are not able to type at least read it and as much as you type it read it you will understand more and more things and this is how you can increase the your shell scripting part so thank you so much for joining here and listening me carefully from so many years now we are around 6000 subscriber over here and i just started my new batch of oracle db if you are interested you can contact me thank you so much guys see you again with the next video